Hello everyone, it's Shy. I'm back again. I know it's been a while. It's been like a couple months, but that during that time I've just been spending time with God to help me get through some things. Um, when things are going to go through, He's been telling me to testify about it and to wait. So once He brings everything through, I will tell y'all about it and testify and it's going to be a long video. But today we're going to talk about forgiveness, what forgiveness is why it's important and how to forgive people all right so the definition of forgiveness is the act of intentionally letting go of feelings or resentment or anger towards someone who, who has harmed you it involves a voluntary change in your feelings attitudes and behavior and it can help repair damaged relationships Forgiveness doesn't mean accepting what happened or ceasing to be angry, and it doesn't obligate you to reconcile with the person who harmed you. That is the Google Generative GI definition of forgiveness. And it went through, through three sources from the American Psychology Association, Greater Good Science Center and Mayo Clinic to bring those definitions together. But we're going to look at forgiveness on God's level, what it means to Him, and how we go about forgiving others and why it's important to Him that we forgive others and what it means to us. What it means to us when we forgive others, not just on a physical level, but also on a spiritual level, because forgiveness means a lot for this learning about forgiveness what it means how to forgive and also why forgiving others is important we're going to look at the parable of the unmerciful servant this is Matthew 18 23 through 35 it starts therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants as he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought, with, was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had to be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell to his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged. And I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all the debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back what all he owed. This is what my Heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Okay, everyone, that is a lot to take in, but that is very visual in another parable from Jesus. As we know, he talks in parables, so those who follow God and know God and know him and follow him can know and understand his word and receive the revelation, receive the lesson that he talks about so people can learn from it and learn the value that teacher, that teacher, <laughs> learn the value that Jesus wanted us to learn when he told that parable. So now we're reading the parables. We're learning the parables. Now, all right, this is a parable about how to to help understand how to forgive, how 
forgiveness works why we should forgive and what happens if you don't forgive okay the king is God the servant is you what is owed to the king uh, which was that how much was it which was the 10,000 bags of gold is your sin as we know we have a gracious God a merciful God no matter how much sin we do as long as we re repent with our whole hearts he forgives us and God seeing what we've done wrong without Jesus and without repentance without that connection he will punish us through the sins that the consequences of the sins that we've committed and he'll also bring down punishment bring down um, he'll bring down judgment on those who have done wrong who have sinned but through our repentance through our pleading through our begging for forgiveness wholeheartedly to him and with him loving us so much he decides to forgive you of your sins and wipe your slate clean this is why we have to repent and ask for forgiveness for God because with our sins we're supposed to either die or suffer the consequences of those sins but because Jesus died on the cross for us to bear our sins we're able to repent and ask for forgiveness of God from God through Jesus okay now this is just a scenario so you the servant did not keep the forgiving spirit that God has just decided to forgive you and you're not keeping that mercy in your heart you just so happen walk down the street and see someone who either offended you or they owe you something or they sinned against you and instead of giving forgiving them for what they did to you you go to them like hey you owe me money or hey you remember what you did five years ago or you remember what you did 20 years ago you were wrong for that I'm a you know that's you going through taking your revenge and doing what you're not supposed to so not only are you not doing what you're supposed to with forgiving people this person putting it out to you saying they sorry for what they did but you being cold hearted want to take revenge so you take revenge in this case in the parable the servant threw the man in jail until he could pay him back so the servants the other servants who saw what he did and was upset because they know that the king who was God had just forgave them so they go back to the king to tell the king what happened and the king is furious because the king is like how dare you go and do this to this person after I just forgave you for over me 10,000 bags of gold you know you owe me $10,000 how you gonna throw him in jail and he only owe you how much a hundred a hundred dollars like how you just gonna do that so the king okay so that's when the king was like okay since you're not gonna forgive them why should I forgive you and he throws the man in jail so and a deeper meaning a deeper look into this this is not the way of the Lord so seeing you not forgive someone who sinned against you who owes you something and such God punishes those who will punish you for this penance because you're harboring this anger or bitterness against this person who wronged you and you're bound to earth with that okay because it says Matthew 18 18 truly I tell you whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven this part speaks of sin but it also speaks of forgiveness if you forgive what you had what has you bound or what you stuck in it becomes loose and you are freed from what's holding you back from that forgiveness this goes with you being forgiven when you forgive others there's nothing holding you back so the reason why God doesn't forgive you for not forgiving someone else is because God is a graceful a gracious God 
and he is a merciful God. He loves us so much that he forgives us of our sins whenever we call out to him and repent because he loves us so much. So he's like, okay, I'm going to forgive you. But you have to make sure you do the same. We have to be God-like. We have to be Christ-like. In order to be God-like and Christ-like, we have to bring that character to other people. We have to show forgiveness. Okay? Continuing on with that scripture, Matthew 18, 18. To be bound means to not forgive that which you have not forgiven. It binds you. It, it bounds you and plagues you. You're constantly living in that same event, that hurt, that pain. You can't move on. You're stuck. You become sour. You become bitter. You start to harbor the anger and you just, it, it corrupts you inside. And we all know when anger becomes, festers inside of you, it can go towards sin. And that sin can cause you to hurt people, can cause you whether that's physically, emotionally, mentally, it can cause you to murder. It can cause you to sin, which is why you have to forgive. Now, when you also when you don't forgive, you're not forgiven in heaven, for the act of not forgiving is for God alone. Okay, and for you not to forgive someone, it's we don't have rights as humans to not forgive people because that's us judging people for their faults and we're not supposed to judge people for their faults we're supposed to be able to love our neighbors love our brothers and sisters love the people here on earth and forgive them for what they have done all right back to matthew 18 23 through 35 the parable of the unmerciful servants Okay, as we know, we just talk about being bound. Okay, and those who are bound by unforgiveness it can fester in that unforgiveness and it comes anger and bitterness and sour and just corrupts you inside and you act upon that feeling and you seek revenge. You might go out and hurt somebody, kill somebody, so on and so forth, and you sin against that person. And you're bearing that sin now, which, you know, that's how it goes. And that's why you should forgive others. And I know it's hard to forgive others. That's when you go to God for help, to help you to forgive that person for what they did to you or what they owe you. Because forgiveness is hard, especially when someone did you wrong. It, it's, just, it's just hard because how dare someone do this to you? How is that possible for someone to be so mean or conniving or evil? But they're, sadly, they're, the world is full of them. And for us, as being Jesus' disciples, as being Jesus' followers, as do, following God and His commandments, and we're trying to be Christ-like, we're trying to be representatives of God, we have to have a forgiving nature. That is what it means to be a follower of Christ. And for that help to learn how to forgive others, you have to pray a prayer. And ask Jesus and God to help you get through it. What he does, he will work on the inside of you to heal those wounds, to heal that hurt. And before you know it, after some time, you're like, okay, I'm not hurting anymore. And forgiving does not mean forgetting what they did to you or letting it go. It means that, as we said earlier... It means the act of intentionally letting go of feelings of resentment or anger towards someone who has harmed you. Okay. It involves a voluntary change in your feelings, attitudes, and behavior. And it can repair your damaged relationship if you decide to, you know, go back to that. Not go back to the person, but 
maybe associate with that person again who hurt you. But if you decide not to, that's fine too. Because, you know, I I believe I talked about my dad on this platform before and how he was emotionally abusive and manipulative to me since childhood. And I worked with God to work on forgiving him and letting go of those feelings of resentment and anger towards him. Because I just feel bad for him because he has, he just don't see what he does wrong. And I just pray to God and Jesus that they help him to see the error of his, of his ways and to do better. And forgiveness doesn't mean to accepting what happened and ceasing to be angry. Yeah, you can still be angry a little bit, but you you can just talk to God about it and he will help the anger, that bitterness, and all of that to go away. So that is what forgiveness is. How to forgive. Um, we looked at forgiveness, the f definition of the world word through, you know, the world, world, the worldly definition of forgiveness. And Forgiveness is just letting go of those grudges, letting go of that bitterness, letting go of that anger because if you continue to hold on to it, it's going to corrupt you inside and cause you to <clears throat> sin. And being unforgiving is a sin in itself because it can lead you to sin. And holding in that bitterness and anger, it corrupts you inside. And I'm giving an image of you just not spelling good to God and just stinking because you're harboring all this filth inside you. You become defiled. So that is what forgiveness is. And the way that you can help to forgive others is to ask for God to help you to forgive those who have harmed you, who have wronged you in any way possible because that's who, why God is there. He loves us so much. He wants to help us get through that pain. He wants to help us to get through that harm. He wants to help us heal from that wound and he will help us to do that from the inside out. And for those of you listening, this is a prayer I wrote down for you guys to help you get through forgiveness and to forgive those who have done you wrong. Father God, Lord Jesus, thank you for the ability to forgive. There are some things that are tough to forgive on our own. That's why we go to you, Father God, Lord Jesus, to ask for your help to forgive those who've done us wrong. So we can head from, so that we can heal from that hurt or trauma. God, I ask you today to help those with unforgiving hearts. The hurt and the pain. The scars are too deep for them to forgive on their own. Father God, Lord Jesus, please place your hand on them and their hearts so they can heal and soften their hearts in them. Please, Father God, Lord Jesus, please give them a forgiving heart. Please help them to heal from the trauma and mend their wounds and to heal from the pain, Father God, Lord Jesus. They need you, O oh Lord. Please help them, Father God, Lord Jesus, to forgive so that they may be forgiven in heaven and no longer be bound to that hurt and that pain, Father God, Lord Jesus, and that bitterness, Father God, Lord Jesus, so they can be free from the binds and move forward, Father God, Lord Jesus. Please help them, my Lord God, Jesus. Yes, Father God, Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Abba. I know that's told but I see. Yes, Father God, Lord Jesus, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys for listening. I pray and hope this helped you. If it did not, just leave a comment down for me to receive. If you have questions or need better understanding of forgiveness, what it is, and why we should forgive others. Uh, thank you guys. I pray and hope y'all have a good day or whenever time you're listening to this. Um... For those who are listening, God is going to help you 
to get through that heart, the hurt and that pain and that bitterness that you feel at this moment. It's for some of you it's gonna be a week from now, for others it's gonna be a month or maybe some months or a year for some of you, but he's gonna help you get through it. He's gonna help you, just know. And if you feel the urge to pray to him in this moment and to speak to him, go ahead and do it. And you can also pray on your own. It doesn't have to be a sophisticated prayer. Just sit down with God. Ask him to open him, open your mind, body, soul, and spirit, your ears, and your eyes, and your heart to him. So he can go and do the work. And so you can hear and understand him and the revelations that he wants for you to receive by speaking to him so he can help you and he will go in and help you from the inside out he loves you all deeply i love you all deeply as well i love god's people and i love the people on earth even though some are misguided and that's what he wants me to do is to help guide you guys so that's what i'm doing uh, y'all have a blessed day and Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, whichever one you would like to do. And thank you guys for listening. Bye.